What do you think you have from the uh, woman? Yeah, that's what <laughs> to, 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 to say on that one. Uh, but what I would like to say is that uh, the affirmations that we have, I, I created a digital book. And uh, the digital book, uh, we have it in there. I forgot what page it is. But uh, those are part of our program just to get us uh, just, uh, the energy excited. As you can, as you can see, you're, you're, you're an African, and sometimes you don't know what Africa you're coming to. As you can see, it's a developing nation. Uh, the neighborhood uh, is nice. The airport is very nice. And certain things are coming up to speed. But um, where's the people that have to keep on working at these things? And one good thing about it was freezing in Amsterdam, but it's just so nice here. Yeah. yeah. Ghana. <laughs> right. So yeah, so family, everything that we do have is in us. Uh, we have all of our wonderful energy of being from beautiful, beautiful parts of the world. Uh, when you look at where most of most black people live, we live in all the tropical environments. So just literally happy that uh, you're able to make it here. But our ultimate dream is uh, is to continue from Kwame Nkrumah in 1957 and make you know countries like Ghana the model state for us from the African diaspora to come live, do business, and you know, evolve. Evolve and uh, that's kind of all I want to share this morning. And just let everyone know that I've been to many countries in Africa, it's always a little bit different. I was in East Africa um, literally less than a few weeks ago, literally just like three and a half, four weeks ago uh, in Tanzania. And one of the, the big differences when you got on that flight to come to Ghana, the majority of people you saw on the plane was black people. Me and my group was the only black, only black people on the on a flight going to Tanzania. Oh wow. And when the white people saw it, they're like, man, they found a the secret. <laughs> <laughs> the country is incredible, and they are doing business, they're doing safaris, and I've never been into safaris, but I'm learning to get more into it. But then you come to East, you know, you come to West Africa, and you just see something different. But all parts of all parts of Africa are so di different. Like you go to Southern Africa, it's a different world. You go to Northern Africa, they make it feel like you know that's not a part of Africa. So my point is like West Africa is like the foundation and most of us, uh, when once we trace our DNA, we'll find our DNA back right here at this beautiful coast. Uh, so this is really our region and our region to progress and, and then we just expand off into other parts of Africa. Because right now you have Lebanese, Indians, um, Chinese, they're just everywhere and they dominate. They're taking advantage of a lot of opportunities that we should, but it's kind of like we're behind in certain situations. So even these journeys right here, they open our eyes and our minds uh, to the future. And then we share with our family, friends, and we connect our children like my son. He's been coming here from, from the age of two. Um, as a matter of fact, the first time he came here, Ghana was in 2012. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that, that's what I meant to tell you. We've been coming to the Mekle from, tw from 2012. When he first came, and this is uh, 10 years. Uh, so, I uh, want to also say that uh, sometimes we have these schedules and we need to change some things. So, because time goes along and we just have to evolve. So, family, uh, embrace yourself for an incredible journey because once we leave here tomorrow, we're just around the country. Uh, different scenery, different energy. Uh, but uh, this is a journey designed uh, for you. And I'm, I'm not sure if, how people, if people are really tired or not, but yeah, when you look at the schedule, like 8 o'clock, you gotta get up this early in the morning. But that's the only way we can really enjoy the day. Yeah. And then if you really feel tired, I would say just rest, relax. Uh, in the evening, once you finish dinner, and then if you open to socializing, uh, my goal is to just take us somewhere every night um, while we're here. At the resort, uh, we won't have much place to go, but we'll be doing nightlife there. So this is our time to bond, connect, uh, new friends, new relationships, uh, and uh, new visions. So everybody just keep a strong, positive energy and just uh, enjoy the best of these wonderful times away from whatever is going on uh, in America, Europe, and other parts of the world. Thank you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it.